Everybody, how's it going? My name is Mark Gill. This is Mark's on the Grill. Wow, we got a big one tonight, man. I'm actually kind of nervous. <laughs> so if you're a fan of the California Pizza Kitchen, and I am, they've got a signature pizza dish called the Barbecue Chicken Pizza. Everybody orders it. Everybody loves it. It's got that couple of little things, and you're like, mm, man, that's good. I wonder what that is. Well, here, we're here to share that with you. Right? But i got to be honest with you, and I'm just going to check here to make sure that we're all up and running. People are saying hi. I love that. Perfect. So i got to be honest with you. Pizza is not my strong point, okay? It just isn't. i got I got no issues. i got the whole nine yards. So here, Trish is going to give you a little tour of the machines that we're going to be using, and I'm going to go get what I forgot in the kitchen. See you in a minute, dear. <laughs> say, say hi to some folks as we come on. <laughs> Hello, Nicholas Meyer. What's in here? <laughs> We're saying hi to some folks. That's always fun. I'm the guy me. Kenny Butts from what? Fresno. All right. I'm the guy that decides to do a live pizza show and forgets the dough. <laughs> so in addition to the dough, uh, I'm going to give you a few tips here that's helped me out. Uh, now listen, there's not a lot of ingredients in this one. It's not like a thousand ingredient pizza that you got to worry about. You've got the chicken. Now this you're going to do ahead of time. All right. You're going to cut it into about three quarter inch cubes. You're going to do it in a fry pan, just enough to get it cooked. And then when it's all done and cooled, you're going to toss it in a couple of tablespoons of barbecue sauce. Now the barbecue sauce is the other real kind of, uh, I don't want to say trick, but when you're like, mm, nom, 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 what is that? Mm, nom, nom, nom. Sweet. You want to use a sweet sauce when you're doing this without a doubt. So we're going to use our forged and fire sweet sauce. Mmm, good stuff. Uh, some cilantro because our research tells us that everybody between the ages of 24 and 40 loves cilantro, I gotta tell you. And here's a big secret Gouda. Smoke the Gouda. Now, you don't put a lot of this on because it can be overpowering, all right? So here's, and here's what we're gonna work with today. I love this. So I got my big green egg and I timed this over. Look at that. We are at 700 degrees. Boys and girls, this is as close as you're ever gonna come to uh, like a, a big pizza oven in your backyard. That's just all there is to it. Costs a lot of money, takes a long time to learn how to use. There's a lot of stuff that goes around. you got to babysit it. But i got to tell you something. In the end, ooh, it's worth it. You want something a little simpler? Uh, these guys are great, man. We fired up our rec deck. I've never made a pizza on this. Uh, i got a pizza stone in there. i got a pizza stone in there. And i got this guy set at 500 degrees. <laughs> 500. Now, my charbroil, this, this is the wild card back here. All right, I'm going to use like a flatbread on this. I wasn't going to fire up my charbroil, but I'm like, I'm lighting up everything else. I might as well light this up too. This is on low... And it's at 475, 500. This thing's like heat demon, all right? This is no joke, this thing. So that may just be like pizza crisps. And then the Blackstone, this one's kind of neat. So I've been heating up, ow, the, it works. I've been heating up the pizza stone uh, for, I don't know, a little while on medium high. You're shooting about 375 degrees. You want it to be hot enough to cook the crust, but not so hot that it doesn't cook the top and blah, 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 blah. So here we go. Like I said, I'm a little nervous on this one. It's, it's not my strong point. Pizza is not where I live. I live in steak zone, man. That's where I am. But it doesn't stop me from wanting to go ahead and do a little bit of a dough toss. So here we go. Going to get my gloves on. Do me a favor, guys. If you just hopped on, my name is Mark Gill. Uh, this is Mark's on the Grill. The lovely lady holding the camera is my beautiful bride who just had a birthday. Everybody say happy birthday, Trish. Trish, okay, Trish. <laughs> <laughs> that's the voice you hear saying hi every now and then. And this uh, this is a show where we just kind of hang out, have fun, try some new recipes, and really work with some new pieces of cooking equipment. So here we go, California Pizza Kitchen, barbecued chicken pizza. Come on in. So the first thing we're going to do is get our dough ready. Now, uh, again, dough is my nemesis. I can't say anything otherwise. Uh, some people use a lot of flour. Uh, I, I find that that just creates a, a big mess for me. It's a big problem. So a little bit of oil on some gloves here. And you're going to let your dough sit out for a half an hour. So I'm just going to give it a little, a little bit of a toss. Oh, oh I can do yeah, that. We can do this a little bit. Yeah. And then stretch it out a okay. bit. Here we go. Now, don't be shy with the cornmeal. Understand? What happened? Okay. Flew it again? Oh, oh my. See, Trisha's going to get me to do this again. I've got no room for error because I only have three. And look at this. 
Oh, it's bad. Now I'm going to be one of these. Uh, okay, if I drop this and it gets all foldy, I'll we'll just we'll I'll call still, it artisanal. I'll still eat it. What? <laughs> I'll still eat it. You'll you'll delete it. Yeah, we edit that out. All right, I think I'm good here. I'll, I'll a little practice with that one. I'll practice with the next one. So here we go. Now we're going to put this right on, just like that, <laughs> nice and slidey. Ooh, I did all right. Now you can make your own dough, but that's hard. <laughs> especially if you're me, so I just don't do it. Uh, the nice lady up at the grocery store likes to do this for me for like two bucks a thing. She'll do it for you too. <laughs> no problem. So here, you're going to take a little bit of that barbecue sauce. There we go. Just like that. And you're going to run that as much as you can out to the rim. I like this pizza because it's not really heavy on sauce. You know what I mean? You get those pizzas that just drown in it. This is not that. It just wants that nice barbecue flavor. Who are we saying hi to? Robert Porto, Go Bucks, Corey Tru, Trujillo. Hi, Troy Danner from Pennsylvania. There you go. All right, I got to pause you for a second here. So here's a little bit of the magic. All right. You take the Gouda. This is Gouda time. About two tablespoons, not a lot to overpower it. And you're going to put that down just like that. Give it a nice little spread over there. There you go. Then you're going to take about a half a cup of ye old mozzarella, just like that. Okay, there we are. We're not looking to overpower anybody with the cheese here. Trish is very disappointed. So that's the last thing in the world Trish wants to hear, is that we're not going to go crazy with the cheese. And now here's the chicken. I'm not sure why I had to call that out. I'm, I'm, I'm sure if you're watching, you got a hold of that one. All right, here we go. All right, so this is the same barbecue sauce that I marinated in for a few hours here. You're letting it get nice and cool. And then we're going to take a handful of red onions. All right, it's a red onion pizza. And we're going to do the same pizza in all of these different machines because I figured now would be a good time just to do like kind of a taste test, see what the difference is. See what the difference is. So now you're going to take another about a half cup of that uh, beautiful mozzarella. And again, now... This is only half the battle, you guys. All right, now I got to get it into the thing, and then I'm going to have to get it out of the thing. So we're we're not, I'm not out of the woods yet. Here we go. All right, perfect. So I got my pizza peel. I've got my stone that's been in there. So guys, here we go. This is where it gets real. Don't get in here too close. It's hot. Now, if you've got a big green ape, burp it. If you don't know what burping is, look it up, learn it, get good at it, get familiar with it. You got to know what burping is. If not, you can uh, cause some real problems here. Burp, burp. Burp. It's just a matter of introducing oxygen into that fire. So lots and lots of that stuff, the cornmeal. And now, woo! Uh oh. Now see, there's no way that this was going to go perfect from the start. There we go. I'm okay with it. What? I'm good. No? <laughs> Should we quit now? <laughs> okay, here we go. Get on there. I told you, man, not the best in the world at this. But once that cover goes on, hopefully, <laughs> right? <laughs> it's hard to peek in the top. We're going to get something edible out of this. It may go from making pizzas on five machines to one, but there's going to be a recipe that comes out of this sucker, no problem. So now I need my pizza peel back. There we go. And we're going to do this again. So here we go. A little bit of olive oil on the hands. Rubby, rubby, rubby. There we are. <laughs> and we're going to try this again. All right, we're going to try this big circle thing again. See, like I said, I, I don't have a lot of backups on this. We have dogs and chickens, so if this hits the ground, <laughs> it's pretty much done. Here we go. All right, I see him do this a lot. Ah. Ooh. All right, here we go. Here we go. Stretch it out just like this. One more. Ooh. All right. On. Oh, hey, Trish, grab me that cornmeal there. Quick, I'm losing the dough. Quick, it's bad, bad news. Quick, 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 quick. Okay, and there. Whew. Oh, a little more. Oh, no. yeah, right there. All right. Yeah, the cornmeal's your best buddy here, man. It really is. You saw it's, it kind of didn't slide off as much as I would have liked it to over there. All right, so here we go. Barbecue sauce. Remember, sweet and tangy. One scoop ought to do it. Run that out to the rim. I delivered pizzas when I was a kid for Pizza Hut. It was one of my very first jobs. I remember watching these guys do this, man. And at 16, I thought that was pretty darn cool. There we are. Okay, got that in there. So what was next? Gouda. All right, about two tablespoons of the Gouda. 
All right, everybody together now. It's a good... Uh, okay, uh, Trish, let's say hi to some people while I decorate this guy up. Mark Addison. Troy Danner's very hungry. Is pizza doing in the fridge? John Molesworth. Mm-hmm. Uh, David Jacobs. Excellent. Robert Porto. Hey, let us know where you're watching from, too. We dig that. We absolutely dig that. All right. Kenny Butts. Robert Croy. There we go. Got our chicken on there. Hey, if you're just David. tuning in, we're doing our California pizza chicken. Barbecue to this is like a sig you can find a lot of signature pizzas around here, man. I mean, honest to goodness, if you start looking around, everybody's got their pepperoni, everybody's got their bacon, everybody's got their Hawaiian best pizza ever, by the way, but that's fine. Everybody's got their meat lovers or this or that. There's not a lot of places that have like the signature pizza. Well, you know, when we were looking around for it, this was one of them, man. The, the, the California pizza barbecue chicken pizza, without a doubt. So let's get our last load of mato. The dogs are going to love when they get out here to help clean up. Hey, there we go. So this one is going in the rec tech same thing same uh, same temperature you know i'm just i'm not using enough of that cornmeal so i'm gonna get myself some help here on this one too and i've got another you want to burp this too same type of thing Ooh, my goodness that hot <laughs> what what are you laughing at nothing it's terrific. <gasps> I didn't put cornmeal on that. All right, so we're going to learn the difference okay. between cornmeal and no cornmeal. You're welcome. All right, hold on. Burp, burp. Okay, so I'd say that's pretty ready. Oh, Woo! wow, it's beautiful. A um, couple more seconds. Yeah, I know, it's got to go. All right, so I got another pizza peel here. Here we are. Wow, I'm glad I checked. Well, how you doing now? Look at that. That's a pretty pizza. What was that, about three minutes? If that. All right, so I wasn't even ready with a place to put this down yet. So let's do a let's do a little swap here. There we go. Actually, you know what? I'm going to leave it right on there for now to let it cool for a second. Because my last one, this is where it gets interesting. So that pizza is going to cool for just a second. And now watch this one, okay? On our Blackstone, come on over here. I've got a pizza peel, or sorry, a, a pizza stone that's been heating up. So I'm just going to set it to the side and keep it warm for a second. I'm going to hit this with some oil. Here's how you can make pizza on a flat top. This one's fun. So here we go. Just like that. So same thing, only this time. Watch what we're going to do. Let's take that little bit of olive oil. And remember, you're shooting for about 375 on your flat top. That's about medium high. Here we go. We got another one going here. All right, stretch it on out. We're doing good with this. I'll keep it up. This is like one of the most successful pizza outings I've ever had. Usually it's just tragic by now. And you got to think, with four things like these machines wired up and fired up, man, something, something's got to go wrong. All right, here we go. Ooh. So we're going to start with that there. Just like that. I'm going to make myself a cutting space here. Mm. Oh, I hope that pizza doesn't stick too much to that uh, that uh, peel in there. No, That's bad there. That's bad news brown in there. All right, here we go. I think we're going to need this over here. I love doing these shows this time of year. There's no flies to fight off. There's no... There's no bugs. It's just fantastic. Now, for those of you buried under all that snow, uh, my apologies. I'm being really insensitive. <laughs> it's, it's bad news out there in some places. All right, here we go. So here's our first pizza. This is terrific. Just like that, man. Oh, cilantro. What the heck? I'm like staring at it. Cilantro's a big part of this. It's the flash. There we go. Oh, it's a nice crispy crust. Wow, I'm digging this. All right, here we go. A little on the dark side. I'm not going to show you. Top looks great. I see. Mmm. <laughs> Look at that. Isn't that lovely? Mmm. -hmm. Mmm. All right. All right, let's flip this. Look, it's bubbling. Here we go. We gotta flip this, Trisha. All right, here we go. Ready? Oh, 
that's great. All right. So, of course, Blackstone's not going to give you heat on the top and the bottom. So you got to do it that way. Now, while we're waiting here, let's go ahead and... That one's looking good, although maybe stuck to the bottom. <laughs> so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take our pieces, woo, as we go here. Just kind of slide them over there. Look at that. What a beautiful looking pizza. Guys, you got to try this. All right, so listen. Out of that uh, uh, big green egg, there's no doubt, man, you can tell, there, there, there's a reason that that machine is pricey, that it takes a while to learn, that everybody loves that thing, that there's a big community. There's a taste with that. Oh, it's so good. Okay, here we go. So, we've got this guy. I'm going to put him back on the pizza stone, just like that. Oh, bring him back over here, put the whole thing back on the black stone. Now, let's take a second. And let's build this bad boy. Here we go. Same idea. <laughs> There's the sauce. Hey, if you haven't hit that uh, uh, like button or that subscribe button or that share button or any of that kind of stuff, do us a favor and hit that. We love when you do that. All right, so remember, now we want a couple of tablespoons of the smoked Gouda, the half a cup of mozzarella. There we go. That's a horrible accent. I won't be doing that again. And then we <laughs> a little bit of our chicken. There we go. Spread you around. Just all oh, look. I'm getting lazy. I'm getting lazy in a hurry. Okay. Save enough for our last one on the charbroil. There we go. Beautiful. Don't forget our onions. Didn't need that spoon anymore anyway. Did I put onions on the last pizza? Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Uh, you sure? No, on the last one. The one, the Rectech. It's not too late. There we are. So now, for the Blackstone, you need a hood. You need something to put on this. And that regular hood that comes with it ain't going to do it. So you want like a nice, big, uh, uh, like tin lasagna pan. Or if you've got a big... I improvise. Because we have all this stuff in the back. So, let's go ahead and take the nice big lid off of this. Put that on there and let that cook. Very nice. Get a little bit of water in there just for some steam. Ooh, that should be fun. Now, I have no idea if that's what I'm supposed to do, but I'm going to do it anyway. And then for our last one, let me do a check here. Ooh, all right, here we go. Now, again, no promises. I forgot the cornmeal. I forgot the onions, too. Oh, my goodness. What a guy. Here we go. Some people like their onions fresh. <laughs> this was for them. It was a custom order. <laughs> that way they're crunchy. There we go. Oh, that's it. You know what? There is no way to screw up a pizza. Can I tell you that much? Well, I may have spoke too soon. All right, here we go. No problem. Ooh, you know what? Let's let those onions have their moment. There we go. I think we got we got a few more minutes on that crust. So in the meantime, let's go ahead and we're going to try flatbread on the charbroil here, Trish. Watch what we're going to do. So uh, uh, the grill that we're going to do now is a traditional grill. So you're not going to get, uh, you know, the dough on there. But I'm going to try a flatbread. Like I said, I have no idea if this is a good idea or not because that grill gets so hot. And normally... Normally, that's a wonderful thing, but maybe not today. All right, so let's get the Gouda. You got the Gouda. There we go. Beautiful. A little more Gouda. There we are. Let's get our last of our chicken. Man, I timed this chicken out. Terrific. Look at this. Oh, and I did need that spoon. All right, let's do this. Like I said, if you haven't hit that like or that follow, please do that. Also, hit that share button. We really dig that. Uh, and if you're just kind of catching us right now, we're trying our best with the California Kitchen Pizza barbecued bar barbecue chicken pizza. That's a lot to say at once. I think we're doing all right with it. Mm -hmm. Let's get the onions. We got one. We have one that already came out of the uh, big green egg. That was spectacular. A little darker on the crust than I'd like to do, so I might drop the uh, temperature down to 500 instead of 7, like my buddy told me to in the first place. He's sitting at home going, I told you, 500 degrees. <laughs> here we go. All right, so here we are. We're going to take these over here. Let's see how this does. So this is an infrared grill. 
This is going to give us some really great grill marks on there, which will be terrific. And it's on the bottom, so you'll never see them. But trust me, they're there. There we go. <sighs> Sport Thomas, Tanner Hotler, two other people are watching. Mark Porto, Mark and Trish, you should try a smoked California burrito one of these days. Yes, we should. All right, I'm going to write that one down. All right, let's get all this over here. <laughs> I brought backup dough today because I thought it was going to go really badly, and I ended up not having to use it, so I'm really happy about that. So I'll get all that over there. Get our bowls out of the way because we got a couple more pizzas coming. This was great. Clear some space off, just like that. Who are we saying hi to? Trish, I'm sure we got a couple more people. Christina Chancy. Uh huh. Brian oh, hey, Stubbins. Fun. Yeah. <laughs> hey, cat. <laughs> cat. I never call her Christina. It didn't clue in for a sec. All right. Um, Ready? Fred, Fred King from Middleton, Ohio. Very cool. What else we got there from Middleton? Oh, with a lot of excellent. He's very happy about Middleton, Ohio. He's a motivated guy. Here we go. All right, so the onions have had a little time to get themselves all good there. Remember, cornmeal is very important. Oh, woo! I did good. Look at that. Man, that looks just like it does when it comes out to the table. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. All right, we got this guy here. Man, that's a, these are the best. Uh -huh. That's what I love right there. How do you go? Ooh, the crust. Look at the crust. Can you get out of there? Yep. That's pretty. Nice. Wow. All right, and I got to check this real quick because this will. All right. I, now I got I got my worries about this one over here. I, I'm worried about that one a little bit. How's this one doing? All right. Melting the cheese on top. This is one of those ones that might take a while. We might have to get back to this in pictures. <laughs> All right, here we go. Okay, come on in here. This, the sound of this is the best. Ready? That's the best. That's when you know that crust is made. Okay, what's that stuff called? ASMR? We should ASMR this. <laughs> That's what we should do. Uh, well, we're going to change our channel to the Mars and the Girl ASMR channel. That's it. Oh. Bubbly. All right. Oh, this is great. This is fun. Look at that. Ooh. <laughs> Why not, right? I get the big green egg and everything around it and I love my big green egg but if you want to get the job done quick and really really good wow this is fantastic Trish you gotta try this this is good it's good 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 there we go all right here you eat that I'm gonna I'm gonna do the hold up here we'll do another cheese bowl while you're there ready here we go Tastes that good, can't you? Uh, it's got to be making you hungry. Come on. All right, so hey, listen. Uh, while that other one's finishing up and that one's doing their thing, I don't know if a lot of you guys know this. We are in Clearwater, which uh, uh, for those of you that aren't familiar with our great land, is right across from Tampa Bay, which, of course, uh, this, this weekend is the... Okay, when I'm on HSN, I'm not allowed to say Super Bowl. Man, I'll get my, my net wrapped. You, ever, you hear people say the big game all the time, right? Because it's a whole license thing. So, um, Super Bowl, Super Bowl, Super Bowl. Okay, <laughs> we're safe. So, the Super Bowl's this weekend. I lost my train of thought. Where was I going with that? Oh, and we're in Tampa. The first time ever the home team's been here, and we can't go. That bites. Can I tell you something? Can I tell you how much that bites? That bites so much. Ugh. All right, let's get these gloves off. I'm sure people have commented by now, why well, is gloves the one? <laughs> All right, let's check. I'm going to drop this three or four more times while Trish has the camera aimed at me. <laughs> How are we doing here? So I know that this is burnt to a royal crisp on the bottom. So I'm going to say right now that this may not be the best machine for pizza. In fact, I'm going, oh, you know what? I should, I should shut up. That's what I should do because this is actually not bad. Now, let, let me get them over here, but it's, uh, it's done, let me tell you. Pizza peels are great, by the way. Make sure you get a pizza peel. So uh, if you're going to do it this way, I might even go with a little bit thinner of a crust. There we go. Me and, and my heat's on about as small as I can get. If I put the heat up too much, well, it's just going to be bad news. So I'm going to hold on to my theory that a bad pizza is better than a good orange or apple any day. There we go. 
Here we are. Oh, yeah, I can live with that. Yeah, what's the bottom look like? Bottom looks great. Can you see that? Mm -hmm. Well, that's hot. Okay, we're going to put a, a timeout on that for a sec. Okay, so I'm going to make myself some room here. A couple of things coming up, you guys. I'm not sure if uh, you caught this or not, but we just launched our brand new cookbook. Uh, we'll put the description below there to have a look at that. We got like a crazy introductory price to it. It's like it's a couple of bucks. Seriously, have a look at it. Uh, we got some great shows on HSN coming up. We got a big cookware show coming up. Uh, I bought myself a 100 and some dollar, I won't say too much because my wife's holding the camera, uh, a piece of Wagyu, A5 Wagyu, Wagyu from... And it's so marbled, and they massage the cows, and they give them wine, and oh, I can't wait. So, much like we've done here, we're going to light up a bunch of stuff, including this guy, which is, here, hold on, let me move this for a better shot, including this guy uh, for some steak, the Blackstone, we're going to fire up our, our, uh, uh, our Rectex and our Big Green Egg, and I have a salt block, and I can't wait to do that one. By the way, um, if you are using a Big Green Egg or a, a, a Kamado like this, in order to hit that 700 degree temperature, and see that it's still there, man. That's pretty cool. I'm just letting the Blackstone kind of finish up here. If you want to hit that 700 degree temperature, you're going to have to put an awful lot of charcoal in there. And a lot of times people will like think about what they're cooking. Like it's one hamburger, it's one hot dog, it's one piece of pizza. And they only put in a little bit of charcoal because you only got to cook a little bit. You need to fill this up to that first line where the bowl is in there. You can look at that and go, what am I smoking a, a whole pig in this thing? Remember, all right, when you're done, you can shut these down and choke them off and reuse that lump charcoal. So just remember that. Uh, I'm, I'm sure you knew that, but if, if you're new with the big green egg, that's great. By the way, our cookbook's a lot about that. Uh, just kind of going over uh, tips and tricks, uh, a lot of accessories, some really fantastic recipes. Let's do another cheese pull. Come on, man. This is my favorite thing ever. Ooh, that's the best. Man, look at that. On set, they wait forever to get that shot. That's fantastic. Hey, this is a clear winner so far. So let's get this over here. I know we're, we're delivering some pizza later. I don't know if you're watching, Jana, but this one's coming to you. You're going to like this. And by the way, uh, this really does taste a lot like that California, uh, California. It's a new place. It's right beside California. <laughs> I think it's plural. <laughs> now, <laughs> oh, look here, guys. This is great. What a, might as well have some fun, right? Oh, look. We're doing good here. So, so, hey, listen, uh, this is outstanding. This has probably about five to ten minutes left. I'm not going to make anybody wait around for that. But do know that you can absolutely make these great pizzas on a Blackstone, too. I love that. Just make sure you got that pizza stone. So, guys, listen, this was fun tonight. I'm, I'm kind of I'm, I'm getting all pumped up in my, uh, my new excitement for doing pizzas outside. These turned out pretty good. So we got a few people that want these things. We're going to deliver them around the neighborhood like we love to do. My name's Mark Gill. This is Marks on the Grill. The lovely lady holding the camera is Trish. She's the best. And, uh, yeah, hit that like and subscribe, guys. Guys, oh, try this. Mm -hmm. That's good stuff.